MSC is a standard setter for fisheries certifications. So they don't actually certify fisheries, but they set the standards by which certifying bodies are to evaluate fisheries. ISSF is not a certifying body or a standard setting body. Um, MSC is. ISSF sees its work, however, in if ISSF is successful, it, its projects and its work are aligned with the things that fisheries would need to achieve in order to be certified from MSC. So we see ourselves as very complementary to successful certifications of tuna fisheries under the MSC assessment methods. When a particular fishery applies for MSC assessment, you are typically looking at one gear type in one region um, for one portion of a stock of tuna. And there have been some inconsistencies in results as well as just a lack of a, of a global benchmark standard. So rather than doing what the MSC process fosters, which is starting at the bottom and, and working at a local level on a particular fishery, we thought that this discussion would benefit from also starting at a top level and applying the principles systematically and equivalently across all 19 stocks and all tuna RFMOs. ISSF hired two consultants who are experienced in MSC assessments generally and tuna fishery assessments for MSC specifically. And rather than looking at a discrete fishery, we had them look at all 19 stocks of tuna, that's all tuna stocks except the bluefin stocks, and score them using the MSC method on the principal one indicators, those that are most directly relevant to the stock health. And then we also had them look at the principal three management performance indicators for the international components. So again, scoring then the tuna RFMOs, the each of them separately, the international bodies that manage tuna, again, under those MSC performance indicators for management. Any fishery from one particular stock that's seeking certification, in a perfect world, the principal one stock health scores would be the same because it is all the same stock. So by providing this global tool that looks at the stock wide basis, um, it's our position that, that that would be the score for any fishery within that stock. It would apply equally. Um, similarly, the RFMO component of the management principle, any fishery within that RFMO region should result in the same scoring on the RFMO management performance indicators. What would be different would be different national management regimes or implementations and different gear types or different parts of the ocean region where different portions of the stock are fish. There might be different bycatch interactions or, or other ecosystem impacts according to the fishing method. You know, in the past, what's publicly available under the MSC assessment process is fisheries that are going into assessment and then the final results of an assessment. What is not public is the pre-assessment. So if someone were curious to see how do all the tuna fisheries of the world stack up, um, there's really no access to that information on a comprehensive basis. So we hope that a lot of people, um, retailers, others in the tuna industry, consumers who are interested in how tuna fisheries globally would stack up against the MSC assessment method, that this will be a good resource for them.